Hey guys, Fatigue here, and today I got some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay coming at you. And today we got some domination on radiation. That is right, so right now you might be thinking, well, why is this first clip here sped up? And I'm going to answer that for you. This first clip is sped up because this game, I decided to start off the game as a bit of a jackass. I decided to run around the start of the match with a spaz. And sometimes I get into random moves like this. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to pull out a shotgun this game and try to succeed. I'm going to be that guy that does well with the shotgun. Well, it didn't quite work out for me this game. Really, really not well at all. And I end up going 1-5 in five at the start of this match, which is the sped-up clip you're watching right now. And the reason why I sped it up is not because I'm embarrassed about starting out the match 1-5. in five. It's because the clip at normal speed really isn't entertaining. It's watching me run across the map, try to shoot someone in the face, fail at it, and then get shot, respawn, run in the middle of the map like you just saw, get shot, try to sneak up behind someone, get shot in the process. So it really wasn't, really wasn't an entertaining two minutes, and I just wanted to speed it up to get to the actual entertaining stuff. So after I decided to give up on my quest with the spaz, I decided to switch to the commando, and here's where the game picks up a little bit. So this game... I am running the kill streaks. Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Gunship. Yes, I know the Blackbird has a really technical name, but you know, I just like to call it the Blackbird. And I never ever run high kill streaks. I am a very big rushing advocate, anti camping, don't stand in one place. I love moving around, just having a good time around the map. So I usually run just UAV, attack helicopter, Blackbird. Those are usually my three kill streaks that I run, because you know. I just like to know where the enemy is so I can shoot him. There we go. Nice and simple. But today I was like, you know what? I want to run the higher kill streaks. And I barely ever do that. I actually had to unlock gunship, I believe, for me to use it. I think I might have used it maybe once before. But I think I got it in like a care package or something. Or it was in a private match. Because I barely ever use the gunship. Now, I also want to talk about a topic... As to really why I chose to upload this game. Because I go 39-9 and nine in this game. Not the greatest KD in the world. But also not a KD to complain about at all. You know. Positive 30 really, really is not bad at all. And right there I get so lucky in getting that kill. Oh my god. But I wanted to talk about the topic of rage quitting. Because normally on a normal day in this game I start out 1-5. I was pretty angry. I was pretty angry. But... I decided to stay in for some reason. I'm like, you know what? Let me just try out my luck with a commando. I like domination. I like radiation. Let me just give this a shot. Let me see how it works out. And when I switch to the commando, as you can see, I go on this kill streak and I get to the gunship. I'm like, oh my god. What an awesome way to start off with using these three kill streaks. Now, I have a lot of friends. Like, me and my group of friends, we, we quit out of a lot of games. Like, we're like... Oh, we're not having fun. Let's leave. You guys want to quit? Yep, sure. Just join another game. I mean, that is the beauty and the disadvantage of the COD matchmaking system is people can just do that and just get right back into another game with literally no penalty at all. Now, you can watch me fail a little bit with a gunship here. I don't do do not do too awful. But, you know, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. This is so awesome. Running an 11 kill streak. I'm the man. Because, again... My top kill streak that I always get is the Blackbird. Then I'm done and I'm ready to rebuild up my kill streak again. So this is a really cool game for me. So I would like to put the message out, going back to the other topic, that you should not just rage quit out of a game like we do. You know, I was thinking about it with this game and normally, as I said, we would have just rage quit out of it. Why did I stay in this game? I don't know. Well, I'm glad I did because I clearly ended up doing good. But what if, let's say, 50% of the games I rage quit out of end up being like this game? Well, that definitely ups my KD by at least 0.1 or 0.2. It's a real KD upper. What if we come back and win? Because we originally started out, we were losing. And then we came back and right now we're dominating them. I mean, it helps a lot that I got a gunship followed by a chopper gunner, but we turned it back around and we were dominating them up until this point when they recaptured B. 
it would probably up my win loss ratio so you really got to think you really got to think about it is it worth quitting or am i causing myself to have a lack of fun because at times quitting out of the game in anger can actually induce more stress especially if it's excuse me <clears throat> a game type you really, really enjoy playing. Like, let's say you get Team Deathmatch on Nuketown. I love Team Death on Nuketown. But you go 0-6 right out of the gate. Oh, well, that, that, that sucks. That sucks. I'm out of here. Who knows when you're going to get Team Death on Nuketown again? And who knows if you could have turned it around by just switching classes to a gun you're more comfortable with to come back and win and maybe go... Turn that 0-6 into an 18-7 and 7 game. That's not bad at all. That gives you far more, more pride than just quitting out of the game. Now, let's go with the other scenario. I rage quit out of that Nuketown game. Then let's get something I hate. I get Team Deathmatch on Jungle next. Oh, great. So now I'm angry from the last game. I quit out of my favorite game type. And now I'm in a game type... On a map that I absolutely hate. So now I'm even more angry. Gens are I'm going to do bad in that game again. See what that? See what happens? With rage quitting. It brings an endless chain. Well not really endless. But a chain of rage inducing events. That can only make you angrier. Where in fact if you stay in the game. You were originally going to rage quit. You might in fact be happier. And if you did rage quit and join another game. Now, granted, there are circumstances where, yeah, you should get out of there. Like, you join a matchmaking game mid-game. It's domination, 145 to 22. And the other team has three chopper gunners on queue. I mean, if I just joined that game, I would get out of there. Because that's not going to be a good experience for me. And I just got thrown into a middle of the game that I had nothing to do with the team being spawn trapped by chopper gunners you know that just sucks i mean i would get out of there but when you're in there out the gate if you try to turn the game around you might actually end up in better shape end up happier and maybe even get a few points on your win loss ratio and on your kd just by staying in turning it around and just having a good time just have fun like think about it that way the next time you're ready to just get the hell out of a game Think about it and say, maybe I can turn this around and make it for the better. So that's about it for this game, guys. Thanks for watching. Of course, comment on the video. Your feedback is always appreciated and only helps my videos improve. Please like the video, especially if you liked it. And please dislike the video if you didn't like it. That's what that button is there for. But if you hit the dislike button, please tell me what you didn't like about the video so I avoid doing that again. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos like this or some more of my videos. So until next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.